before this recording, I spoke to you about Somerset as a club, and you said you had quite a lot to say about them heading into this year's championship. So how do you assess their chances heading into this year's tournament? Do you think that Somerset can finally break that county championship curse? Um, <laughs> I, I thought they were going to do it last year, to be honest. And then um, we got into the, the, you know, that final round of fixtures and unfortunately they couldn't quite couldn't quite back up their, their their form they found in the in the early part of the season. Um, but I, I actually think Somerset are a very very dangerous Red Bull team. I, they're definitely in in the in the top few Red Bull sides in the country. Um, and you know the the sort of the only you, you mentioned Eddie Byron going to Glamorgan that as our alley's also gone to Worcestershire. So they haven't got their 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 normal overseas number three. Um, Although obviously that they would have replaced him with Matt Renshaw, which wouldn't wouldn't be a bad replacement, but unfortunately he's now he's now been flown out to Pakistan. So um, I think they need to find a number three. Um, that you know their opening opening pair that they had last season in in Tom Lamanby and Ben Green actually started to flow quite nicely, and um, that that final championship game of the year at Edgebaston last year, we we struggled to find that first breakthrough until Danny Briggs got that got Tom Lamanby edging to to Brez at first slip. Um so it, you know if they if they continue to open the batting they they, they must have put some work in through the winter. La, Lamanby and Green could be a, a very solid opening partnership for Somerset. And you know I, I'm gonna say it again top top order runs is such a such a crucial part of winning red ball cricket and 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 you know and winning long format cricket. So if they if they can find someone to bat at number three and um, back up what what Green and Lamb and be do at the top of the order, especially with the likes of likes of Abel and Goldsworthy coming in down the order, then they, they've got it as good a chance as any of, of going on going on and winning the championship. They have indeed, and to be honest, we've seemed to say this every single year with Somerset, although it hasn't quite panned out towards the end of the season. They're always up there and in the mix, aren't they? They are a tremendously tremendously good squad with lots of star talent and excellent calibre players within that lineup, But in terms of the weaknesses, Tomo, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this, actually, from an, from an analyst point of view, in terms of that curse with Somerset, the fact that this club, a great prestigious organisation, has not lifted the county championship in its entire history, do you think that does play on their mind? You know, when they are out there and maybe they're losing these close games and they're having these close finishes against the likes of Warwickshire, against the likes of Essex in 2019. Do you think that's actually been plaguing the club in recent years, or do you think that that hasn't been a factor? What are your thoughts on that whole situation yeah. down in the South West? Well, yeah, I mean, um, obviously when you, when, you play against, when you play against the county, you look for an, obvi- for an obvious weak link or for, 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 for an obvious um, instant win, if you like, in terms of the mental game. So as soon as you're playing a Red Bull game of cricket, that's that's such an easy instant win. It you know like um, I'm not talking about sledging here or like uh, trying to gain an unfair advantage because obviously that's that's unfair. But you know cricket's a game now where you you don't just you don't say nothing out on the field. You know what I mean? Um, so there's such an easy instant win to be had there you know, by just. You know, rem- reminding Somerset players that actually, you know what, you you haven't won a title here yet. You, you know, um, so having that instant win, I I think it definitely would play on your mind. And you know, the the past the past two or three seasons, they've had opportunities to go on and win a Red Bull title, but have failed to do so. So, um, look, they're they're a great side. Um, I, it's, it's difficult to find a you know a a, a standout weakness. I'd say. Um, that you know that that core batting unit looks really really strong, and uh, even batters that that don't play every game that could come in and, and, and replace um, that 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 core set of batters. You know the likes of Lewis Gregory and those, those sorts of guys that come in. You know Gregory scored a great a great eighty odd, I think it was in the, in that Warwickshire Somerset final game. So um, they've got plenty of capable batters, plenty of capable bowlers. I I do think it could be some such year. We'll have to wait and see, won't we, Tomo? We'll have to wait and see. I'm going to be honest. I do have a lot of sympathy 
for Somerset fans because you think of the players who have played for this great club over the years and yet somehow, and it is somehow, because I can't explain it, this club just hasn't been able to lift the championship. There's always something which seems to come in the way between Somerset and that taste of glory. But again, in 2022, Somerset fans, even though, as you'll be well aware, I am a Bears fan, deep down, I will just be hoping for a little bit for a Somerset victory, just slightly, ever so slightly, because the fans deserve it. They are excellent fans as well. And they do turn out in their droves at the Cooper Associates County ground. And Tomo, you mentioned there about Tom Abel, who, as we all know, one of the finest players in county cricket. Many people would argue that he should be playing for England. And to be honest, maybe if I might be one of them at some point. But do you think he's the real player to watch out for this summer? Or do you think that somebody else in that Somerset squad will really take people's eye heading into this year's tournament? Yeah, no, I, you know, he's, he's one of the finest players in county cricket. He's also one of the finest blokes. He's, um, he, he's a great guy to be around, Tom. His, um, his enthusiasm for the game and, he, you know, the, the, the way he thinks about things and the way he goes about it, it's just a testament to him as a character, really. Um, he's, he's a superb all-rounder. He's a great leader on the field. And, um, yeah, I'm, I've got absolutely no doubt that, that Tom will have every success this year. He had a great campaign um, in the early summer last year. And unfortunately, struggled to struggled to to kick start that in the, in that latter end of the championship last season. But you know, I, I I really do think it's going to be Somerset and and, and Tom's year. His bowling has gone from strength to strength over the last few seasons, which just add adds him to to how valuable he is in that Somerset side. I. I genuinely, genuinely believe he's one of the one of the best batsmen against spin in England. Um, you know, if you look at, I know it's white ball cricket, but it is it, still very, very apt in this conversation. If you remember finals day last season, that that shot he played against Liam Dawson for six over extra covers, one of the one of the best shots I've ever seen against a left arm spinner. So the way the way he can play spin and and, and bat in that middle order and and sort of dominate that middle order, I. I think Tom's got a huge role to play and uh, he's definitely the player to watch. Same here, Tomo. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that's just got the, the nostalgia flooding back for me. I was there for finals day. So yeah, I do remember that shot. That's absolutely fantastic. And you mentioned about spin in particular. Aside from his batting as well, his captaincy with the likes of Jack Leach and Lewis Goldsworthy is absolutely second to none. So Tom Abel, again, it will be a big summer for him both in a captaincy regard and, of course, with the bat in hand. And, yeah, just to, to reinforce and echo that message, just wishing Somerset all the best of luck. They've had some rotten, rotten luck in the past few years, a lot of near misses, a lot of close chances. But who knows, Somerset fans, maybe 2022, after all of these years of hurt and heartbreak, might be the year that things finally change. 